Hey everyone, welcome back to another Take Home Kit craft tutorial. I'm going to be showing you all how to make the paracord bracelet. Today, in this video, we're going to be learning about the millipede weave pattern. Uh, in your kit, you should have received a um, paracord color of your choice, a uh, functional compass, and a buckle, two pieces, just like that, and two uh, informational packets, instructions on how to do both of the patterns. Uh, personally, I think the millipede design is better uh, for the length of rope that we have. Uh, you might not have enough for the King Cobra design, but if you ever get more paracord uh, in the future, you can do the King Cobra design completed. Uh, the millipede pattern allows you to finish um, pretty much the majority of your paracord. So this is what I'm going to show you all how to do today. Along with your kit, you're going to need a pair of scissors, something like Cut the threads once you're done, and then a lighter. Uh, you need to singe the ends once you've cut them, and then um, using the base of your lighter to put some pressure so it'll melt with the bracelet. If you need some help, don't be shy to ask from a ask from an adult for some assistance once you're done. Okay, so start off. We're gonna take our paracord, we're gonna unbuckle our buckle. Leave that here for now. I'm just gonna put the compass here too. Okay, so first take your paracord and unwind it. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to line up the two end pieces together, just like that. Hold it in one hand and using your finger as a guide, pull your paracord until you get to the rope's center. Oops. Let me start over. Mine is a little tangled. Just like this. That is going to be our loop center, our middle of a rope. And pinch this and then let go. Ends over there. And we're going to take one of our buckles and you're going to feed the, the loop through the top of the buckle. So, what I mean by top is that in your, your paracord buckle, it's gonna be in a curve angle. This is for your wrist, so you don't feel any discomfort or whatnot. So when you feed it through the top, feed it through the top of the buckle, just like that. Just gonna pinch this through. Okay. Oh, by the way, you would also, you also may wanna use a ruler but um, I find it easier to just um, measure it uh, on your wrist, and I'll show you how to do that. So feed it to the top of one of your buckles, just like that. I'll show you closer. So you fed the loop to the top. You want to pull so you have a little bit of slack, and you're going to grab the other two rope ends through the loop and pull it through. Once you pull it through, you're going to pull it to tighten. And this right here is called a cow hitch knot. Let me focus a little. The camera's a little blurry. There you go. That's much better. All right, so this is our starting of our first knot, just to begin with. Okay, once you do have that, I'm just going to... We're going to grab the uh, ends of our paracords again. And what we're going to do is grab our compass and feed both of these ends through our compass like so. You can do it one at a time, that's what I'm going to do. You stretch out a little bit, so. There we go. Get our another pin here. Alright, so we're going to pull that through. Pull, pull, pull. Put our buckle in. And what we want to make sure is that um, our cords aren't crossing. So mine's is crossed here, so I'm just going to pinch and twist. Oops. Oops. Yeah. So this should be on the other side. Pinch and twist. That way your ropes are parallel, evenly through, just like that. And your compass is facing the top. So this is the top of the buckle. So it's curved this way at the top. compass should be facing the top too. Uh, feel free to use the table if it's too hard. 
I'm just standing up because it's easier for me to record. <laughs> okay, so once we have our compass through, we we'll grab our end again. Okay, here are my ends. Then we're going to get our other buckle, and we'll do the same thing. We're going to feed it through, feed it through the top. You can do it one at a time. I can do both at the same time here. There we go. So fed much to the top. More pull, 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 pull. Till we meet our other buddies here on the paracord. Okay, so same thing. We have to make sure that our paracord isn't crossing. Mine's is right here. So I'm just gonna twist, to adjust. Being a little difficult. Okay. Just gonna untangle mine really quick. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright, so mine's just mine's are across, so I'm gonna actually pull my rope out of my buckle. And then I'm gonna put it back in. Mistakes happen, no worries. Easy fix. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna feed it back the correct way. Alright, here. Alright, let's see how we did. Oops. Okay. Alright. Alright, and results should look like this. Okay, so. Nice and parallel, nice and parallel, nice and even, just like that, nice and lined up. Okay, after feeding the two rope ends to the top of this buckle, I'm going to actually take this moment, put this on my wrist, I'll show you how the measuring sort of goes. So, let's see, I'm going to buckle this first, then pull for some slack. I'm gonna fixate this on my wrist, just like that. I'm gonna pull according to how tight I want it. So, even a little, little slack is fine. You don't want it to be too uncomfortable. Okay, so once you have your wrist link, pinch this in, then unbuckle your buckle. Okay, so for the, for the millipede design, once you have this, we're going to feed our rope ends back through the compass. So you can lay usually I lay flat on the table, just like this, to help me. But you can take the right rope here and you're gonna feed it through the compass for the rightmost part. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. So I'm gonna grab the rope end here and then feed this through here. There's another step for us to measure our wrist. Don't worry too much if you lose it. I'm not worrying too much. <laughs> Make sure it's all nicely aligned in your compass. And we're gonna do the same thing with the rope's left end. Taking the left rope end, we're gonna feed it to the leftmost part of the compass. So, right through here. Okay, let's pull this a little bit, just so we can see where we're at. Okay, so she should have four lines running through, all even, all the way through. So, I'm going to use this time to buckle. So let's see if I can, yeah, we're going to buckle it. <laughs> Let's measure our wrist one more time. Okay. Let's see how we did. Okay. So this is sort of the last time we could measure our wrist. So I'm gonna pull it tight again, not too tight though. 
So, I clipped on my bracelet, and it looks like this is about the measurement I want. So, I'm going to pinch this together, unclip, and then we have our measurement for our wrist. Okay, now, to get started, I'm just making sure that our ropes are nice line, nicely lined up. And then we could start on our first knot. Okay, so it helps to have this laying on the table like this and then do the knot that way. I'm just going to show you up close. So you don't have to keep this in the air. Um, it, it might be easier for you to keep it on the table. All right, so to start, we're going to do um, a knot using our right paracord it's right here. And we're going to do it where the it's fa the, the top's facing the bottom, so the top of the bracelet is facing the table. And our other end here with the loose ends are going to be on top. We're going to take this right cord. We're going to wrap it underneath the other cords, other four cords here. Like so. Other three cords. So this loop. I'm creating a loop and wrapping it underneath like this. Okay. And then you're going to take your right paracord end, feed it through the loop we just made, and pull to tighten. There we go, just like that. Okay. I'm going to pull, pull, pull. And use your thumb to really squish the knot together tighter it is, the neater it will look by then. I'm going to grab the paracord bottom and cinch up the knot we made all the way up to the buckle. So we end up a knot that looks like this. And that's our first knot on our paracord journey. The rest is going to be fairly simple, but I'll show you the pattern. Because sometimes you might, <laughs> you might miss a step. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so we did the right knot under. We're going to do the left knot under the other cords, like so. And then we're going to feed it through the loop we just made. Pull, pull, pull. There you go. Just like that. And then push in with your thumb. Push up with the other thumb by grabbing the buckle end pushing upwards. Now we have our second knot. Just make this a little tighter. Alright, so we did right under, left under. Next we're going to do right over knot. So we're going to take our right paracord end, wrap it over the other four cords this time, and feed it through the loop we just made. Just like that. Alright, let's pull it tight. like that, and then pull it upwards, there you go, you have something like that, that looks like this. Next we're going to take our left paracord and go over for the four knots, there are other four ropes in the middle, and pull it through the loop we just made. Now pull, tighten it up in the middle. And pull it upwards. There you go. And when we get to the end, you'll see how nicely woven this is. Okay. So, did right under, left under, right over, left over. So the pattern is right under, left under, then we switch it up, right over, left over. So now we're back at under. So. I'm going to take our right cord, put it under our other four cords, and we're going to make pull it through the knot, the loop we just made. Pull, pull, pull. And then we're close. Don't worry if you uh, uh, make a mistake and do the wrong order. You could kind of tell if um, you made a mistake. All you have to do is. Uh, 
unknot your knot and just do it over again. No big deal. Alright, next we're going to take our left knot, left rope, put it underneath the four ropes and pull it through the loop we just made. There we go. Just like that. Okay, so we just did our left under pattern. We're going to go over this time. And your bracelet should look something like this. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing the bracelet knot until we get near the middle, and that's where our compass is going to be uh, fixated. So, let's keep it going. All right, so we're about halfway through our bracelet. So I want to, to put my compass in the middle of my bracelet. So to do that, whatever place you're at, just go ahead and pull up the, the compass end. And what you're going to do is you're going to fit the two loose ends through the leftmost part and the rightmost part of the compass. So I'm going to start out with my left side, left rope, feed it through. Leftmost end, just like that. Then take your right paracord rope, fit it through the rightmost end of your compass. And then once you get these two through, make sure it's nice and lined up, pull it to the knot that you were just working on. And all you have to do is continue the knot that you were doing. So it looks like for me, uh, I did left over, so now I'm doing right under. So just continue your knot like this. So since I'm right under, you're going to put it under the other four pair of cords now. Make sure to leave the left cord alone. Pull that through. And Pull it tight, just like you did, you were doing before, and then cinch it up towards the compass. Now I'm gonna do left under. Okay. Pull this through our loop, and pull it tight towards the center. Push it up. Then, once you have those two rope ends, you just continue on. So we just did left under, so now we're doing right over. Alrighty, so I finished the bracelet weave from my end. Um, yeah, weaves probably look better than mine, but this is essentially what it'll look like in the end. Nice, neatly woven brace, woven brace, bracelet, sorry. Can't talk right now, but just loosen up your bracelet a bit. It's a little more pliable. And then, let's see, your hard work pay off at the end. So, let's see if I can do this at an awkward angle. Actually, it's the table. Let's see. Okay, still not used to classroom my bracelet on. Ah, there we go. All right. Now you have a nice paracord bracelet, ready to deploy if you need paracord in emergency situations, and a nice compass so you know where you're going. Very cool. All right, so I'm gonna teach you how to do the end. So I'm actually gonna make maybe one more knot here. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little knot here. So I'm gonna put this over here, put my right cord underneath that, and just to make a little knot here, just to finish it off. My last remaining paracord bracelet rope bend. Pull it tight, just like that. Okay, so once you've cut off the end of your paracord, so this is one end, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your lighter, 
you're going to be careful not to burn your bracelet, but you're going to singe it just a bit on your lighter, just like that. Okay, and then you're going to press gently onto your paracord so that it's nice and melted in. So once you've singed and pressed one, pressed one end of the bracelet, you would do the same for the other end. You would cut the paracord close to the bracelet, singe it, make sure the end is melted, and then press gently using your lighter to fuse the bracelet end, and you'll have a completed paracord bracelet. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll leave a link the bottom of this video make sure to sign up and grab a paracord uh, during next week and you'll get a kit and everything you need to start weaving your own paracord bracelet hope you enjoy we'll have more paracord well maybe more in the future more team kits for you guys and uh yeah thank you so much for stopping by stay safe bye bye